welcome back now in this video we will simply start working on the click event for the job deadline day let me just show you right in here there we go the job deadline date and right in this FCT and one more thing guys right for the job title and job description we will leave this as empty because there is no need of that and we want to just enter the job title and job description manually right in here whenever the user will want they can enter but right in the job deadline date we will not enter the date manually we will just select it from the dialog box that we are about to create okay but first right in here we will have a text we have like for the job category in here as you guys can see select job category so in here we will say job deadline dead so let's go first let me just write that text in here in this text form field so what we will do we will go just right at top and write in the controller for the deadline there we go in here we will set text or we can simply copy this copy and and write in that in the deadline one okay paste it and in here we will say something like job dead line date that's fine now let's go back all the way down to the job deadline there okay all is just fine now simply just hold to load the app and you guys will notice that so the app has been initialized now let's go back to the there we go the job deadline dead so it's working totally fine right in the upload job now so there we go with the text now we will simply go and create a method as I told you before for picking the dead so whenever the user will click right in here there will be kind of dialog for the dead so let's go and create that method above the widget build for picking the dead there we go with the widget build and right in there you will say void and make it private and the name will be pick that dialog this will be async asynchronous and first we will create our administrator for the date time so let's go and create that right above in here we will say dead time there we go and can name this as a pick so this will simply just pick the dead time now let's go and use that right in the method of pick dead dialog in here We will say of it and we will simply assign the show that picker there we go it's going to take some properties as you guys can see right in here we will remove that for now we will just add it one by one so that you guys just don't confuse in that now in here put semicolon and take this down now we will provide the contacts to contacts and let's have the initial that that time dot now first let me remove that and write in here dot now there we go okay now you will provide the first date and it's going to be that time dot now dot subtract and right in the subtract we will provide the duration 
duration in there we will set days and we will give it value well zero so it's going to be from the start and in here add the const modifier all just fine so basically this will return a new date time instance with the duration subtracted from this so let's move further now we will simply just provide the last date and it's going to be date time there we go and we will say 2100 and here comma so basically it's representing our instant and time so we have successfully assigned all of that show that picker right inside the pick so right after we will say if and in the fit it's not equal to the null then we will simply add inside the set state tag this down in here we will say deadline dead controller dot text so in this deadline dead control dot text we will assign in here string and then write it and semicolon now write in there with a dollar sign call the brushes we will say pick and check dot ear just assign that right inside the deadline dead controller dot text so it's gonna be in the form of text and we are about to assign that right inside that okay so I hope you can get the idea now we simply pick the ear that's the format and then let's also put the curly brushes and in front of that in here put the dollar sign just don't forget about it and in here picked and check dot month it will pick the month and also in here we will copy that from here to here copy it and paste it in here now we will pick today right at n so i hope you can get that we simply pick the day month and year there is a format and we assign that right to this controller with a dot tax so it's gonna show us that and it will only show if the picked ball if it's not equal to no if it's contain the data then it will show that so let's go further from here tag is down we will create a time stamp simply for the deadline date so let's go and create that right above in here below this bit we will say time stamp there we go with this occasion and we will name this as a dead line dead time stamp semicolon at the end now we can simply go and use that there we go in here past it now we will simply assign the time stamp there we go dot from microseconds since epoch in there we will provide the picked file there we go now check dot microseconds since epoch and write it n semicolon and we simply assign that pick with a timestamp from microseconds since epoch to this deadline date timestamp so it's going to be right inside that and it will only run that state as i told you before if the picked not equal to no so it simply means that if it's content the data 
it will then run this so I hope you can get the idea and all of the working has been done now simply copy that from here and we will call upon that right in the FCT for the job deadline dev there you go with the FCT right inside that Take this down and here call upon that right it ends and call now just how to load the app can take some time there we go now back to the upload job now here we go and now if I click on this job deadline dead it will simply show you that big dead dialog that we just created okay so let's go and check that click on that so we simply forget to set this enable to false because when you click in here it simply show that keyboard we don't want that so for that reason we will set this to false okay now how to load it and it will work just fine now click in here and there we go it's working totally fine and you guys can see the result right in here now today date is 18 July and it's Monday so let's go and select any other date I'll go with the 20 click OK and there we go 2022 7 month July and there we go with the 20 day and one more thing guys just click in here and if you guys select the old day that has been paused already let's say for example today is 18 that's the current date and if I go back and select that 5 it will not just work because it's in the past and we don't want that to show it so simply whenever you guys will choose the date then you can simply choose it from the current date and also you can choose it right in the future like for example 30 29 or you can go with the current one but not the old one that has been passed already so I'll go with the 18 click OK and there you go with the 18 it's working totally fine and you guys can see the result right in here so that's all and that's it for this video right in the next video we will work further so see ya